Search is absolutely vital. They have been fantastic at pulling in partnerships, uh, developing networks with other people, seeking additional funding to run tremendous programs that support the community. Food security, I think, is something that we've become more aware of in the last maybe five years as being an ongoing issue and being critically important to health. In 2007, we did focus groups with some of our participants of our programs and found that many of them at the end of the month would, after they paid their fixed expenses of rent, heat, hydro, would have less than $200 a month to feed themselves and their family. It's a human right to eat. It's a human right to eat healthy. How to eat healthy and how to do that on a budget, especially living in rural Ontario um, and not having access to some of the other amenities that you might in a larger centre. So the idea is, um, it's sort of a whole circle. The, the vegetables that we get from uh, the farmers, we then process and teach women how they can preserve that for very little money and safely. To have children in the house and to be able to go to the shelf and, and just get a jar of uh, applesauce that you've made yourself, that's a big bonus. And it seems like a minor thing, but to give a kid um, a dish of peaches with their yogurt in the morning and not have to pay for it, sometimes it makes the difference for a mom. That's been a really, really great initiative because not only are they learning the skills on how to make a really healthy, nutritious meal, it's always a meal that can be done on a really lean budget. I'm involved in it because it's a great opportunity for my kids to get out and meet new children and it's a lot of helpful tips and somebody to talk to when you don't get out very much. I didn't really know about it or I knew about it but didn't make it so now here I see the food that we eat on Fridays and it pushes me to go home and make it for my kids. And now I know a lot and I get to learn about the resources in the community that I didn't know about. Community kitchens are meal preparations and then we freeze those meals and distribute them for free. And we've been cooking um, for about a year and have produced a, approximately a thousand meals to date. They get the recipes also for the meal that they had prepared today and so they're able to go home and cook it on their own in their own kitchen. What's great about Search is that when we fundraise for our initiatives, the money stays in our community. We've lost and continue to lose a lot of public funding. The governments change, the winds of politics change, and oftentimes it's unfortunate, but rural communities don't seem to be at the forefront of priority. People are incredibly supportive of our organization, and we raise a lot of our money. Our food initiatives are almost entirely funded by donations. We get approached by a lot of organizations and you know we really have to look at you know which organizations you know have the biggest impact and I think all you have to do is look at search and look at the programs that they have to you know know that they really are making a difference. Those are like true hands-on programs. When I look at the, the limited resources they have and the output that that organization has, it's, you know, it's absolutely extraordinary. One of the things I talk about in our orientation to volunteers is when you get involved with search, you become a part of gratifying moments of goodness. That's what they say here at search. What makes your heart sing? And whatever it is that makes your heart sing, that's, what, that's why I'm here and why I choose search.